What's up guys, Pipo here, bringing you a video today, we're doing some Miss Weaver Monk action. This is completely me trying to learn basically how to do arena on this guy. I'm being carried currently by Static on his uh, hunter, I think he's called Hytron or something like that. Some hunter name, I know him as Static, so I never really pay attention to his character names. Or, or Chris, either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, and basically I asked for carries, Chris is always pretty keen, he'd do some carries for me, you'd fucking greatly appreciate this shit because I'm just a scrub nub. Uh, basically I'm still learning to play the class a lot. I mean, it's not as hard to say, for instance, if I was used to him playing a melee character, I think, and jumping onto, uh, onto a healer. I'm kind of used to kiting and staying away from people, but I, what I find I'm having trouble with is, for instance, what I just did right there, which is I overextend way too much. I, I get scared, basically. I get scared that, for instance, maybe Static will get bursted. I get scared that I'm going to get bursted. So then I'll try and, like, move to a position, and then I end up actually fucking myself because of that. As you saw there, I ran out for some fucking reason, and immediately the mage switches to me. When, in fact, I should have stayed behind the pole. I'm still very noobish at this. I'm currently in about... I think I'm in almost full Grievous. I have, like, one piece of Prideful, which is, like, a trinket, because I realized halfway through PvP yesterday that I didn't even have a PvP trinket yet. So I quickly bought one of those. Um, and the rest of my gear is all Grievous, except for, like, my two rings or some shit. My two rings in my neck, yeah. And I have full Grievous, one piece of rifle, my two rings in my neck are, like, timeless, like, epic gears or some shit. So I'm kind of getting there with the PvP gear, but I'm hoping to get some rifle now by doing these games with Static. And we're, we're slowly getting in there, we're slowly getting there. And the first game here was a Warlock and a Mage. Uh, basically the game plan here was for Static just to kill whatever the fuck he wanted to. I, I try not to tell him what to do. I just let him do it. I just try to heal him, pretty much. I, but as carries, you don't really have to get too much into, like, strategy. Um, but I try every now and then to do some... I just got 5,000 Conquest points right there, as, as well as you saw. Um, I try and, um... I try and just be, be as, like, survival... Survival-like stance as possible. Stay behind poles. I basically want him to 1v2, and I'll give him some heals sometimes. That's basically how this works, is because I'm, I'm too scared. I've been... Like, you guys are only see wins here, and you're only going to see, like, short games. We had some really long games that I couldn't put in this video, because they literally were, like, 15 minutes long. And I was like, I can't... That's, like, one whole video. I, like, maybe I'll upload one arena sometime. And again, you see me there, I fuck up. I shouldn't be out in the open like this. I shouldn't, like, I run across, and I'm trying to get to static to heal. And all of a I get caught in a fear. I need to get better with my line of siding, like a lot. Um, and this is the game versus a monk and a warlock, and it's it's scary, man. Monks have karma and stuff. Monks just scare me, even though even though I'm on a monk. Monks are, monks are some scary shit. But I'm basically gonna try and stay behind poles, make sure that it never can go on me. Keep static up. I actually get caught in a CC chain towards the end of this one, which is not too happy. Uh, I actually almost let static die at some point during this game. Um, I just, yeah, I'm very, I'm very shitty. I'm just, I'm not good. <laughs> like, watching this back, I, I see myself heal, and I'm like, man, they like, when I watch myself play my hunter, like, I, I agree with the moves I make, and I agree with the way I play it, and I kite, and I do decently. When I watch this back, it's like, Piper, what the fuck, get, where do you, get behind the, why are you running out, like, get behind Jesus Christ and the thing, and it's like, God. I, uh, I make so many mistakes, and it's obvious mistakes that I, I really shouldn't be doing, but it's just because I'm not used to I'm not used to playing the monk, I'm not used to healing, I'm not used to doing arena as a healer either. It's a very rough business. This is the CC right here that I almost let my fucking my teammate die. I fucking zoom back in there and try and get some heals on him. Pop a, uh, a circle of serenity? I always call it circle of serenity, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. What is it called? Ring of Peace. It's called Ring of Peace. Ring of Peace I thought silenced people, but I actually don't think it does that. I think it just pops disarms. Um, because I, I actually use it, I think it's actually in this game, this is a warlock in an arms warrior, and it's a Fushion Warlock. Fushion Warlock, surprisingly, did, surprisingly did a shitload of work in this game. Uh, scared me a lot. Also, I have a real, a real problem with, um, I'll put that portal down there, you saw there, and I'll use it very infrequently. Like, sometimes I forget that I can do it. Like, I forget that I can just port somewhere. As you see there, the warlock got some dots on me, and I'm gonna go down to pretty much no health. But I got blazed on, I was like, oh god, I gotta, I gotta get out, the warrior's doing damage, I popped that bubble on me. Somehow get behind, the warrior gets CC'd and switches. That warrior actually fucked up there by switching. If he stayed on me, honestly, I probably would have just died. I think actually the warrior might have thought that I did die. Because I don't know why he would turn around and charge uh, Static there instead of going for me. Because I was on like no health. But because he does, I get to get my health back up. He'll Static back to full. And he's going to take down that warrior while I line aside the warlock. And I actually make a few mistakes in this game where I, um, and I've done it a few times actually, and I think it's lost the game a couple of times, where I fucking, I dispel warlock buffs. And I, I forget that if I do that, that I'm actually going to silence myself, and I've often, like, fucked up and killed both of us by, like, CCing or silencing or some shit. It's horrible, it's horrible. So again, it's just, I'm just basically trying to get used to when to use CC, what CC to use, because I have a silence as well as, like, the, the stun. And not to mention monk CC... The stun you do, which is like looks like you're shoving purple needles into him. 
the SEC is on like a short cooldown, and it doesn't last very long. So I'm not used to that kind of CC. I'm used to the um the the, the typical like hunter trapping CC, and like it's actually a long time, it's on a long duration. Whereas with the monk, like you got to be CC in like once every thirty seconds or some shit. So uh, again, I'm I'm not very used to that. And again, this is me probably not bringing peace there because I thought it sounds warlocks, but apparently it doesn't sound at all. So meh, I just got to get used to it. And this is a Red Paladin Warrior. This combo combination actually scares me a lot. Gonna put down my, my Porty McPortings in there. Put some orbs down. Those orbs, by the way, some really good heals. And the Paladin goes to me immediately, so I roll across the top there. I'm trying to get away. I know I have that port there, something I can port back if I need to. I get stunned, gonna get out of that one and roll back. I really like... If I had to choose one thing I love about the Monk as a class, it's the maneuverability, man. I love being able to just run around like a boss. Hunter, not the Hunter, sorry, the Warrior charges me there, so I get a, a stun on him, which he gets out of immediately. So then I actually take his weapon. Uh, again, there's so much CC and so much stuff you can do as a monk. Like, I'm taking people's weapons, I'm fucking CCing them, I'm silencing them, I'm fucking bringing peace, and I'm healing as well. There's a lot of, there's a lot more stuff to be concerned about than what I'm used to playing my hunter. And unfortunately for me, that, that paladin right there, he's got his CDs up and he's going to do some damage to me, so I pop my ring of peace and start healing myself, and then I see my fucking hunter buddy's almost dead, so I'm like, god damn it, gotta get in line of sight of him, he jumps down, and I just, luckily enough, there wasn't line of sighting on that little bit of ramp there, which I thought might actually be the end of me. But luckily for me, his, his fucking bird army is going nuts. And last game is going to be a mage and a warlock. This game was actually pretty easy. Um, I, We did a lot more games than this. We lost about... 30% of games and we won like most but there's about three to four games that I didn't include in this video that were just long like there's no healer games you're gonna notice this is all us versus double dbs healer games last so fucking we versus a resto druid that lasted like 30 minutes there's a resto shaman one that lasted a while there's another mist weaver hunter we versus like a, a same class combo and we beat him but it took like 15 minutes it was ridiculous anyway guys let me know what you think about this video hope you enjoy it and uh, I might be bringing you some more soon. Hopefully when I have a bit more gear and I'll be able to do a bit more arena for you guys. Hopefully when I actually know what the fuck I'm doing as well, that'll help. That'll help the situation a lot when I actually know how to play my fucking class. You know, that, that'll probably that'll probably be good for arenas. Jesus Christ. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good life. Have a good gear. I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.